guys, I'm here in Sweden with my good friend Chris. What's up guys? From Pedal Porn. We're just about to check out this really cool vintage guitar shop around the corner. Chris has been eyeing a 1963 Strat. I literally lost sleep over this guitar. I've looked at it about a thousand times. I can tell you every crack on it, so. I'm gonna check it out, see if it's as good as he's been dreaming about. Jesus, look at that. Is this the one you were talking about? That's the one. And the basement. 62 years old. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this toilet. Oh, it's like that is a toilet and a half. Do you think there's anything in these cases? Hopefully my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want your guitar to be in the toilet? Actually, that's a good point. I feel like we need to sign the wall. <gasps> Pedal porn and Mooney sounds. Nice. You've got to go just for the experience. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, we just found the strat in here. What the heck? Real 1963 Fender strat pre CBS. Like, there's also other guitars in here. But yeah, this is the uh, strat. Oh my gosh. That bag, that bag, I've always dreamt of that. That's like, you know when you see Stevie Lee leave, leave his like, guitar against that amp? That's what you'd see? Oh, yeah. Man. You just can't fake that. It's like, oh my, that's that's my favorite bit at the back, I don't know why, it's like, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Look at the headstock, it's like, it's all like, musty, like. Mm. It's even got a little cigarette though. I just sold this guy, uh, guitar to a guy in uh, Ireland. Uh, oh, right. A guy called John Scott, who plays with uh, Ben Morrison. Oh, fantastic. Well, yeah. yeah. Have you I, tried it yet? Or no, what? I didn't want to touch okay. it. Okay. <laughs> we had a quick look, but I was like, it's yeah. a great instrument. You need to try it. But so, your the pedal porn stuff, it's very like Stevie Hendrix yes. influenced sound. 100%. There yeah. for the 63. It's a good, good oh, match, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it. It's beautiful, though. It's like, we, we, we just walked in, didn't expect to see it, and then we was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, we just walked in this room and Chris was like, wait, that's it. It's weird because I've, I've looked at the, the pictures for it so many times that it's just like, I felt like I was daydreaming. Like, yeah. So how's business going? Yeah, really good, thanks mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah really good. We're just... Are we shipping worldwide? Or... Yeah, we have a few dealers in Sweden actually. Um, there's like uh, one in Malmo. Hmm? Um, Malmo Music Cafe maybe. Yeah, they're really cool guys. Do you like source uh, new old stock components or do you find like uh, generic that sounds the same or? A bit of both really. Like, we, Sometimes we try and find like old school transistors, you know, like mm. the Germanium ones, yeah. whatever, but, but a lot of the readily available new parts sound pretty similar. Like, yeah. so for supply chain reasons, it's good to go with as much. Like, I feel like we need to have circuits that are readily available in the midst of things like uh, COVID, mm, or whatever, you, you know, we need to like, you yeah. know, but, um, some stuff you can't replicate, like, like you can't replicate this. No, you know. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Sweden, it's very rare with the, um, with the brown case, because we, we didn't have import on Fender until 63. Right. Okay. And then all the uh, the wholesaler here in Sweden called uh, Hogström, as you can see behind you on the sign there, in blue, Hogström. Right, yeah. Uh, they ordered, ordered the guitars without the cases. So we built our own cases in Sweden. Aha, so okay. to see like brown cases in Sweden are very rare. It's very straight, but original tremor. Ah, nice one. Barely no angle at all. This is the original. But this is one of the really playable ones. I mean, you've tried vintage as well. That's not that motivating to play, I believe. Yeah, yeah. But this is, this is an amazing strap. You can sort of tell, you know, the ones that are really clean, they often tend to be the ones that don't yeah, sound yeah, good because yeah. there's like, you know, no one touches yeah. them. Whereas that, it's been through a bit of... <laughs> is it okay to pick up? <laughs> it's your guitar, man. Oh, man. I'm not paid for it. I'm not paid for it yet. Almost. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost. I think I've got a pick in here. Play with the... Um, I've got a pick in Play with that. <laughs> Maybe this is the first note I'm going to play on it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Chris? Mate, that's crazy. Diver, the casing is original casings. Like the uh, Arbeiter used. Oh, what? The Fender Bassman from 1960. Oh uh, my gosh. Now the... Uh, the original speakers are packed up in boxes, uh, so uh -huh. these are the uh, P10RF, um, so a, a bit worn in, they sound amazing. Yeah, best amp in the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's about 15, 15 grand, is it? Yeah. Yeah. There's not many, you, I mean, you couldn't really go and buy another one, could you? So there's, there's no other ones for sale that we can... Almost every, every unit that you see, there's always a major issue. Uh, 
uh, refurbished uh, new chassis or different speakers but we have the original speakers never been ripped off the the original handle is still in the back so uh, it's a um, yeah you don't see them in this condition very often <laughs> This is like the ultimate uh, Stevie rig, isn't it? It's like yeah. a... <laughs> I've never actually used a freeway toggle switch. I'm gonna have to get used to like. Yeah, yeah. You can switch it to a five way, of course. Yeah. Just keep the three way and put it in the case. You gotta like just wedge it to get the middle one in. Do yeah. Crazy. So this is where it gets a little bit crazy. One of the previous owners of this guitar actually came into the shop when we were buying it and he was like, yeah, I regret um, selling this guitar like it's amazing. So yeah, just yeah. That's How long it. did you own it? You owned it oh, for several years, I think. From, uh, must have been, remember I had the baby blue one? Yeah. I, I, so I, I exchanged that for that one. When? In the 90s or not? No, no, 2000 and, I can't remember now. Oh, 15 years ago? 15, 15 yeah, 15. okay, yeah. I wish I kept it though, because it's a, it's a great guitar. <laughs> Crazy. I honestly don't think you've ever played better than you have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stunning, like what the f <laughs> All I needed is like 30 30k's 30 worth of gear. That's mental. I, a lot of people talk about these um being like one of the best amps for Hendrix tone. I don't know I don't know if Hendrix used one, I can't remember. I've now, never but, seen him use one. No, but but it's funny because there's a guy on YouTube that I'm friends with, but he sometimes uses um one of these to get the Hendrix sound. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really close, it's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or I mean the Marshall is pretty much a basement, isn't it? They're yeah. Really smart, really smart. Yeah, that's right. This is amazing. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Oh, we're buying it. We're buying it. What? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I feel like it's quite a chore to play, even though, like, not in a bad way, but it's, you've got to fight it, the guitar bit, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. 
crazy. <laughs> That's so sweet. I was like, <laughs> oh! That harmonic's like the extra touch. And you're giving it to me for free. <laughs> it's a present. Thank you so much. Welcome to Gatham. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. It's only a bad thing. You need this, of course. That's better. <laughs> oh. Plus, it generates, when you get that mechanical wiggle sound, that goes through the mics as well. So it generates yeah, it does, sound. Yeah. Yeah. Same with the springs, isn't it? You can yeah. sort of hear that like. Give me ASMR. <laughs> go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> no! No, I had, the, the feedback was... <laughs> such a perfect build up as well. <laughs> no! I flopped it, I flopped it. Let's do it again. I flopped it. <laughs> yeah, we got this, Chris, you got it. <laughs> I've never been able to come back to humbuckers even. I think the humbuckers are too undynamic, what do you call it? They're not dynamic yeah, enough. Tall enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> <laughs> oh god, that's a bit heavy actually. It's got another scratch now. Let's see what's in the case candy. The details. If this ever gets robbed, you know it's mine. Look at that handle, that's got some stories in it. Aha, we own the trap. Oh my gosh. This is a secret price, but we can never <laughs> reveal it. It's lovely to meet you, thank you so much. Woo! <laughs> we actually made New Guitar Day happen. We did it. Literally couldn't have had a better experience in there. I mean, we've, we've been in there for like three hours. Three hours, chatting about all sorts. Yeah, all sorts. that was so cool. Um, Thank you guys so much at, uh, how do you pronounce it? Music Borson. Music Borson. In Gothenburg. Such, oh, cool. So cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, see you soon.